I think that nothing is worse than getting caught in a triangle choke. The only thing worse than getting caught in a triangle choke is it getting put on the IBJJF's YouTube video and you being stuck there for like six or seven minutes and people uh, say mean things about you in the comments. But a cool thing about that triangle choke that I'm referring to is I was able to survive it and I was able to get out of it. And a lot of people will ask, you know, how do you do that? And one, you should never get caught in the triangle choke. That is more important than anything else. But if you're like me and sometimes you get caught in triangles, uh, I have a three stage defense that's really, really useful and will help you not only survive the triangle, but eventually get out of the triangle choke. And so, if Jeff starts to put me in a triangle, usually the first stage is the guy crosses their ankles and you're one arm in and one arm out. And I see people talk about defenses where you hide your arm or maybe you put your hand um, on the, the gi or something like that. That's actually what I did in the triangle that I'm referring to as I use the lapel. Um, but a big thing that you need to try with this, cause like I can have my arm completely hidden, but Jeff can finish this triangle. He can squeeze and finish that triangle. The reason is, is because I didn't kill his hip. That's the whole reason we hide our elbow or we hide our arm is so we can kill his hip. So this time if I put all my weight on that leg, when he goes to lock, he's not really able to lock. And even if he could figure for his legs, he's pretty flexible here. What happens is um, my shoulder is still too much in the triangle and I'm able to survive this position. But Good guys know this, and they're gonna try really hard to start to fight your arm across. And if he starts to get my arm across, I'm in a lot of danger. If I was not head up here, I'm probably gonna get locked on this triangle and finish very quickly. When I'm head up, it gives him this other hurdle that he has to start to fight after he pulls my arm across. And it is to break my posture, is to pull my head down. And I don't have to be postured up this tall. I can be postured right here. And what's interesting about this, is what it does is it pushes my chest against his hamstrings. And I can kind of save up this pressure and let my own head fall and pull my chest away and create this little pocket for my hand to sneak in. And what's nice is all I need is to sneak my hand in and get a chain grip on the inside. And I'll show you what happens from here. As he goes to finish his triangle, I'm able to get out of that. And even if he locked his legs, I'm actually able to survive. You need to take a shower, man. Um, but I'm able to survive this choke very, very easily. What's happening is I'm doing this chain grip and I'm creating this little pocket between my wrist and my shoulder to hide my chin. And this will make it to where you can survive the triangle and if you're willing to let your ears get ripped off, you can escape the triangle just by putting your butt high and trying to free your head. Now the third thing that might happen, and this is like the latest stage escape, is I start to get locked, I'm in a ton of trouble, I need this escape, there's no space here. And so what we might do is try to cross our legs in front of our opponent. How I generally set it up is I go elbow to knee, and then I'm going to look if there's space on this side, we'll throw this side over first. If not, maybe he's keeping his arm tight. Maybe he's trying to prevent that. He knows that's coming. I might step and then pull this leg over. Once I cross my ankles, he can try to fight this, but I'm able to create that space and I'm able to free. And there's actually a fourth and even more hidden. We'll make sure to, to tie in a video so you guys can see that this works. Uh, and this, to me, this is the best leg stage triangle defense. If he starts to lock, I can just stand up and 